Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. And amen. My name is Caesar. I want to welcome you to our channel on this lovely morning. It's cold here. Uh, the sun is coming out and uh, we are watching football. We are watching football here on this beach, the Lord Jericho grounds. And uh, right behind me, right behind me, we have the, the fully renovated stadium. You can see the perimeter wall is a, a, a fully uh, renovated stadium that is uh, hosting uh, league matches. I just thank God for that. And uh, here we're just enjoying uh, the game. Uh, the team on the red, is it the team on the red? Uh, yeah, it's on the track. <laughs> yeah. uh, the referee has blown for, for offside. You know, when offside, uh, when offside is called in football, it means that uh, you, you, you want to score uh, in an illegal place, meaning that you are out of position. You need to be in line with the defender, with the last defender, uh, for the goal to count. And uh, it's a nice game. We are loving it. And we bless the Lord for that. Amen. And today we want to go to the book of Exodus chapter 2. From verse 1 to 10 and if you happen to be here for the first time we encourage you to subscribe and to join us uh join us and uh we shall bless the lord for you and to our returning viewers we want to say a big thank you for always coming back and watching our videos the lord bless you and the lord just multiply you and increase you in the name of jesus and to everyone else you can watch all our advertisements when you do that you're helping us to advance the kingdom of God. Make sure you watch all the advertisements that are running on this show and in all our videos. And we shall bless the Lord for you. And as I said, we are in the book of Exodus, Exodus chapter 2, from verse 1 to 10. And uh, our topic is drawn out, drawn out. And uh, Moses was born in, in Exodus chapter 2. And uh, the Bible says that uh, there was a man from the tribe of Levi. And he went and took a, a wife from the children of Levi. And uh, she, she conceived and bore a son. And she hid the baby for three months. That is what the Bible says in Exodus chapter 2 from verse 1. And we are told that when she saw that she could no longer hide the boy, she made a reed, uh, she made an ark. Uh, she made an ark, a little ark. Amen. And she went and put this ark into the river. Juvenile. Remember that uh, Pharaoh had ordered uh, all his people to to throw all the newborn babies uh, into the river. To throw all the newborn babies into the river. Let me just make way for people who want to use the bath so that I can continue with the video. Amen. Uh, they were to be thrown into the river. And uh, it's their goal. It's a goal. <laughs> wow. Amazing. I say this team was under attack and uh, they have conceded a goal. Uh, they have been overwhelmed. They have conceded a goal. Amen. I did just say that uh, uh, Moses' mother, uh, she saw that she could no longer hide the baby and uh, she had to make an ark. And uh, she just did it by faith. Uh, she just did it by faith. And uh, we are told that she put the uh, ark, the little ark into the river among the reeds. And we are told that Pharaoh's daughter uh, went into the, uh, into the uh, river to bathe and uh, with her attendants. And uh, Moses' sister, Miriam, she stood afar off to see what would happen to the child. And we are told that uh, the Pharaoh, uh, the daughter of Pharaoh, she ordered her maids to go and take the ark from the from the river. And when it was brought to her, she saw the little boy, and the little boy was crying. And Miriam came. Miriam came. And when Miriam came, uh, she asked Pharaoh, Shall I look for one of the Hebrew women to nurse the child for you? And uh, Pharaoh's daughter agreed. And... Uh, she commanded uh, 
Moses' mother, who was brought by Miriam to nurse the child, she commanded her to take care of the boy. And when she will, she when he grows up, sorry, when he grows up, uh, uh, Pharaoh's daughter will pay uh, the wages that are due to her. Praise God, Amen. And our topic today is drawn out, drawn out, and that was what Moses' name means. Uh, Pharaoh's daughter called Moses, Moses, because it means drawn out. And last, in the last chapter, they are go. Uh, they have equalized. They are even, they have equalized. In the last chapter, uh, our topic was draw, uh, cast into the river. You know, cast into the river. And we said we will not be cast into the river. Our hopes, our dreams, uh, will not be cast into the river. We will not go with the waters. We will not be be swept away by poverty or disease and sicknesses and all these things. We will not be drawn away. That's a good play. Amen. Nice play from the defense. Glory be to God. Amen. And I'm just saying that we will not be, we, we said that we won't be cast into the river and be swept away. Hallelujah. And uh, in, uh, as I said, our topic today is uh, drawn out. God is going to draw us out. He's going to draw us out, out of a life of frustration, out of, out of a life of poverty, amen, and disease. God is going to draw us out because our name is Moses. We have been drawn out. Look at us. Who would have thought that we would survive when all other people are dead? Who would have thought that we would be here to praise God and look good? Praise be to God. Amen. Therefore, this is our day for us to be drawn out, to come out of drug addiction, to come out of all these sorts of addictions in the name of Jesus and live for God. That is your name. Drawn out. God is drawing us out out of a life of frustration and hopelessness. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'll stop here for us to enjoy the game. The great game. Amen. And uh, encourage us to subscribe uh, to share this video, like this video, comment underneath, let us know that you have watched us, and uh, see you again tomorrow. God bless you, God keep you, remember to keep the faith. Amen. Bye-bye. In Jesus' name.